Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Rev. Mike Eniola. Welcome to Wednesday, the 12th day of July 2023. Open your mouth this morning and be saying Amen as I bless you prophetically. Today, I want to pray against restrictions on your blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and I declare that there shall be no more restriction on your way. In the name of Jesus, your blessings and miracles that are coming to you, no power will stop them from getting to you. In the name of Jesus, every blockage, every opposition, every attack against your life, against your family, against your business, particularly against the blessings of God in your life. Every form of satanic restriction, I lift them and I pray against them today. In Jesus' name, I am praying for you that the angels that have been assigned and delegated to bring to you your blessings today, no power will stop them. The power and the spirit that is controlling the city or the nation where you are, shall not be able to stop the angels that are bringing your results in Jesus' name. I am praying for somebody today who is in dear need of finance. There are a lot of people hearing me this morning that you just need it urgently for, for some urgent reasons. I am praying for supernatural release of the funds you need. In the mighty name of Jesus, supernaturally, miraculously, I am praying that the heaven will respond to this prayer this morning and provide for you. You that the way things are, from the look of things, is like you are going to be embarrassed. It's like you are going to be put to shame. I am praying the God of 11th hour miracle will come at the right time and meet those needs for you. You will never be stranded. You will never be put to shame. God will come on time in Jesus' name. I am praying for our children in schools. Some of them are getting ready for the exam or some have started writing exams. I pray that the Holy Spirit will help every one of them to excel in their studies, in their academics. They will all do well in Jesus' name. You are blessed. All of you that are praying for me, all of you that are rebroadcasting these messages, this daily devotional every day to your friends and loved ones, I pray that God will continue to bless you also. God will lift you up. God will bless your work. God will prosper your daily activities in the name of Jesus. And all of you that are supporting the work, helping us, encouraging and assisting us to do God's will, I pray that the will of God shall not be difficult in your own life too. In Jesus' name, once again, Everyone with project that looks abandoned. I pray that the power of the Lord will take away every restriction and lack of funds in Jesus' name. You are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody say amen. I believe as I receive. Praise God. Beloved, I made this announcement yesterday and I still want to repeat it today that there are people whose main reason whose purpose of joining this platform is to scam people, is to steal from them. So please do not allow anybody to take anything from you. If anybody call you and say, is Pastor this or that from Hour of Destiny, whether they chat you privately or they call you or send you a message, just discard them. They are scam. They send you code and tell you that that is the code you are going to use to connect in a particular meeting with Reverend Eniola. It is a lie. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. The Lord will help us. We will continue to do what God wants us to do. Let them also continue doing what the devil assigned them to do. But all that I know that it is light that will prevail. Darkness will never prevail over light. God bless you. Please read your Bible today. Today, in the continuation of our journey through the Holy Word of God, we are reading the book of Genesis chapter 5 and 6. Genesis chapter 5 and 6. Yesterday, we read chapters 3 and 4. And I did told us yesterday that before you read, every morning, ask the Holy Spirit to give you understanding, to give you interpretation, and to shed light in your heart concerning what you're about to read. It is very interesting 
to read through the Bible. Many people have started sending messages and say, Daddy Niola, thank you for encouraging us this way. Yes, it is our pleasure. It is our duty to do whatever God wants us to do. So please read it every day. Don't skip any day. Don't be too busy to read the word of God. Make it a point of duty to read those chapters a day. The Lord bless you. This morning, I want to speak on the word I titled, Apply Your Faith. Apply Your Faith. When we talk about applying faith, it's like applying medicine to a particular you know, ailment. Maybe you are having injury in your leg or any part of your body, and there is a particular balm you know, given to you to apply to it from time to time to make it to dry up. Now, if you don't apply it, it is not that the balm is not available. The balm has been made available. It is not left for you to apply it. You should know that the balm is not going to apply itself on that wound. It is you that is going to apply the balm on your wound. So also the issue of faith. We need to apply faith in whatever we do in life. For instance, about two or three days ago, somebody sent a message, a testimony. You know, say that, Daniela, I want to appreciate God that during the prayer on Monday, third day of July, that we had global day of communion and anointing service. You know, one of the things this individual lifted up to God was a bottle of water. And so after the prayer, he applied faith and took part of some of that water to go and pour on a particular plot of land that was given to him to sell, that people have been coming, pricing, and not pay. So he went to that plot of land, poured a little part of the water there, and instantly buyers came. That is faith. Reverend Allah didn't announce people to do that. He applied his faith, and it worked for him. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11, the entire chapter is dedicated to living the life of faith. As you hear me this morning, child of God, learn how to apply faith. If you look at the book of Matthew chapter 9, Matthew chapter 9, reading verses 20 and 21. Matthew chapter 9, verses 20 and 21 says, from the New Living Translation, Just then, a woman who had suffered for 12 years with constant bleeding came up behind him. She touched the fringe of his robe, for she thought, if I can just touch his robe, I will be healed. That woman got herself convinced that if she could just touch the hem of Jesus' garment, she would be okay, she would be fine. Nobody told her that. And then she, she, that thought came to her and she applied it. She took a bold step. She, she put force into it and she got her healing instantly. As you hear me this morning, what are you trusting God for? What are you believing God for? The Bible says, faith without work. The work there is talking about action. Faith without action is dead. Oh, you have faith that you can move mountain. You have the faith that if I start this business, I will do well. That is a good one. Apply it. Go take a step further and apply it. It will work. All the inventions that we have in the world today that are beneficial for mankind started in the heart of the inventors like a thought and they apply faith to it. And today we have electricity. Today we have telecommunication. Today we have, you know, we have flight, aeroplane. We have moving from one place to another. But it came as a thought and they apply faith. So whatever you want to do, I always say there is nothing you need that is not available in God's supermarket. Just apply your faith. The faith you need is what is going to work. Just like the testimony of that brother or sister that went to pour little water on that land and God removed restriction on it. I put it to you this morning. Nobody is going to apply the faith for you. It is not Pastor Eniola who will apply that faith. It is you that we apply the faith. I remember some years ago, I went to Oshun State, Ikiri precisely, to go and pray. And I saw crowd of people. I saw people without announcement, without publicity. People were coming to that mountain for prayer. And I applied faith. I took little sand, just little sand from that ground. And I brought it all the way to Mina. I said, God, I want people also to be trooping. That was many years, not knowing that it is going to come to pass today. So I put it to you this morning, child of God. Learn how to apply faith. The Bible says, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. 
11, Proverbs 11, verse 6, he said, without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone that comes to him must be sure that he is and is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Are you seeking your body and you have been praying for healing? You believe that God has healed you. Take a step of faith. Make an attempt. Get up from that sick bed. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. That is when your faith will begin to come into fruition. That is when your faith will start coming to reality. Don't tell me and say, Pastor Nella, I have faith that I will be healed. And then you are doing nothing. No. Apply faith and put action to it. The woman got herself convinced. And not only that, she picked up against all odds, not minding what anyone was going to say. She entered into the midst of the crowd. She was able to pull her way through to the front where Jesus was, and she touched the hem of his garment, and instantly the power went out from the lost body and healed the woman. I see you as somebody who is going to testify next when you begin to apply your faith. The Lord bless you today. The Lord bless you always. Remember, Read your Bible today, Genesis chapter 5 and chapter number 6. God bless you. Please don't join people to do evil. Don't be a scammer. Don't be a liar. Live a holy and a decent life and God will bless you. Have a fruitful and a glorious working day.